Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T and T Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, now you're the man on the stick. Yes, I'm holding the sticks. And we're playing Madden 20, the Vikings. Yeah, dude, we're pillaging, we're yeah, looting, we're loot. making everyone pay. Oh yeah, man, we're we gonna did take it. all your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and your land. We're even gonna take their hearts. Oh, that's the one thing that I want the most. <laughs> oh, is their hearts. You want them to be your everything? Yeah, John, I'm ready for some sports ball. Dude, it's going to be the best sports ball game ever. Heck yeah, dude. Let's sport it up. We're in dude. week 17. Sports. Yeah, we start out 2 and 2, and then uh, now we're 13 and 2. We're on a roll. We're on a <laughs> winning streak. I know. You say you don't like playing this I team. I don't like but this team. I don't know why. I don't like the quarterback and the running back, dude. Like, they aren't my jam. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just they rub me the wrong way. Whoa, I'm a genie in a bottle. Yeah, dude, you they're, gotta genies. Rub, they're you gotta genies rub. in the bottle, baby. They want to rub you the wrong or right or in between way. Oh, the first play of the game, the running back fumbles. The guy I just told you that I hated, he heard it, and he was like, yep. All right. I'm sorry, I got to get into Madden mode, man. Yeah. We were, it, we were just recording something else. So Yeah, we were like, recording other stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not a secret. They watch the channel. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then they got three off of it. Uh, Jonas, if you would be an Egyptian pharaoh, which one would you be? I don't know any. Tutankhamun, Ma I know. Mar Marcus Aurelius? Ooh, I don't know that's if that's a, a, Egypt, That's a Roman guy, I think, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That stuff. I never, I never really studied history. Like I don't know like anything about World War Two or World War. One. Yeah, we but I didn't. The same place. I didn't really. I, I mean, I didn't study it, and I didn't pay attention. To you know, it. Whatever. I don't care. Look, the point of the matter is, is you that don't care about the world. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Wow. I don't Not care about what brought that. us to this day. Uh, you're, I've, I don't know, man. I used to be like, why are we studying the history? We need to be studying the future. Oh, look at that big, big brain. And then I know people logic. always hit you with the like history repeats itself. It does. And I'm like, uh, yeah. So like, I know like war happens. Yeah, there's so. certain areas of history that aren't going to repeat themselves though. Pretty yeah. feel pretty confident on that. Are you sure? What, what, like what part? I don't think that um, entire uh, genders and races will be completely oppressed to the point where they have no freedoms ever again. Oh, you don't think, huh? Wait, well, in our country, at wait, least. wait. Other, other wait. countries, probably <laughs> not in our country. Though. I mean, if it's going on anywhere in the world, Jonas, don't you care about the world? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about that. No, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's happening on on the planet, and I'm not even going to say is that when the alien overlords get here that oh, they are yeah, going to okay. enslave us. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, I can't say never. I guess. Yeah. Because, yeah. History Cause, repeats cause itself. Maybe the entire human race will be enslaved to the yeah. aliens. But Yo. this running back, he's trying to like. He's like, okay, I messed up. Now I'm trying to be good. When you get right down to it, Jonas, don't we enslave animals? Um, uh, yeah, I guess. We enslave animals and then we eat them. Or Especially we horses. Or, yeah, right? Yeah, dude. I mean, we you base take cars off horsepower. I mean, come on. You take a horse from from the forest. Dude, the horse was just galloping along in the forest enjoying its life. I don't think that's how life. it works. They don't run into trees. No. In horses are just, like, chilling in the forest. Okay. And They're just you, hanging out, teepees yep, and stuff. Hanging in trees like coconuts. Oh, and is that you, <laughs> You go out there and you just pluck yourself a horse and then you put it in a stable. Pluck it. Another flipping fumble, dude. What is up with Butterfingers today? I'm just trying to figure out why we're plucking horses and putting them in stables. Uh, is that not money? So, Jonas. Big numbers. Enslavement still going on to this day. Yeah, I guess Until so. Until every animal is allowed to be let free. I mean, egg farms stick like six chickens in one cage and say, produce. Yeah, exactly. So, kids, uh, let your dog out. Don't eat, eat chicken wings. Your dog is your dog is free. If you think about it, kids, if you eat ten chicken wings, you've killed two and a half chickens. Boom. <laughs> and do you see how many chicken wings they have in a chicken uh, wing dude, place? Ooh, I'll kill twenty chickens. I'm just saying that's like <laughs> punch, man. Yeah, dude. If you eat twenty wings, that's five chickens that you've killed, just for wow. your enjoyment. Well, probably more than that, because I doubt if the drumsticks and the, the wing, wing pipe come from the same chicken. Yeah, I mean, you can't. Yeah, I mean, that's that's apples and oranges. But yes. All right. I oh, you. I get what you're saying. You're saying just like the, 
See, in you, general. You don't refer to like the the flat ones as I had a girlfriend who used to call them the flat ones. Well, the the little the ones the, that are kind of like S shaped with the wing tip on it. Well, you don't eat those. If you buy the whole wing, you get that. But there's no there's no meat on that. So the wing, you I mean, but when I think of a wing, I guess I think of the drumettes. There's three parts to a chicken wing. Yes. Two, only two of them eat are eaten. No, the other ones, the wing tips are eaten. Nobody eats wing tips. Man, you crazy. Go to a restaurant, order wing tips. Yo, fam, you ain't going to find it in the restaurants you frequent. Oh, you trying <laughs> to say it's a different, uh, different wing, ethnicity? Yo, wing tips are a hood delicacy. <laughs> really? I absolutely mean this. So you can go to the hood and be like, I want some wing tips. It's going to be a hundred thousand percent. What are they like? There's nothing in them, dude. <laughs> there's a little meat in there. So what are they? How do they sell them? <laughs> <laughs> like, buy, you get them like in six a plastic a time. bag. No, I don't you, you get six, you get ten. Or you get a bunch get... of them. And then there's a little bit of meat in there and you get to like, you know. Enjoy your wing tip. Your wing tips. Yeah, they're cheap. They're obviously they're cheaper. Oh, okay. I would hope. But uh, so you get like ten for a buck. I don't. I'm I would not hope a, so. I'm not a. <laughs> you would hope so. Because if not, you're being ripped off. Right? <laughs> you're concerned about the economy. I'm just letting you I'm know about about the consumer. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> not the not the economy, bro. Like if That's, they're selling you something that they normally sold anywhere, and they're selling argument. you for a high price, and there's less meat. Who's who's ripping who off? That's a, that's a valid argument, Jonas. I, I will tell you right now is that I've never eaten wing tips, but I have seen them on the menu, and I've seen uh, family members of mine uh, ingest wing tips. Really? Yes. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie. If I get sometimes when you go to like a restaurant, they do serve you the whole wing. Yeah. And like, I have nibbled on a wing tip Thank a little you. bit. You and you know you have everybody has. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're already a little bit on here. Yeah, they're like, taste like- <laughs> and you're like, it's really bad. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect. And I'm like, so that just, really wasn't worth it. But I could never imagine ordering get, a whole cup of them. You just get a basket of wings. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like dude, it's like the crawfish of the wing world. Kind you, of. You get like a very little bit of chicken. Like yeah, but I mean, some people are very thorough with the way they, they like. I mean, throwing it away is kind of a travesty. Yeah, because dude, they are edible. You could boil that ish into, into a into a into a broth oh okay i see what you're saying yeah dude you can make like i I thought you were like eating boiled chicken wing tips oh (laughs) the skin skin would be all like just god damn yo that's so gross dude just a plate of boiled chicken wing tips (laughs) or a plate of boiled chicken wings period yeah yeah they'd be so gummy dude that's why you fry them or bake them for Two hours. All right, Jonas, hot take. Boiling is the worst way to prepare any food. <laughs> Except oh. for vegetables. But there are there's a way that you would rather have that. that you would, you telling me you wouldn't want a vegetable on the grill with the grill marks over boiling? Uh, I don't. I'm, you don't want to ask me this because I'm not a vegetable oh, boy. I, know, I like some boiled broccoli, dude. Is that like your is that your jam? Your favorite? I mean, I guess, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm like, a guy if, who likes canned green beans over real green beans. So you don't want to ask my opinion on vegetables; they're very not valid. I just, I would prefer every vegetable be oh, either grilled, that boy. grilled or fried. I guess grilled or fr- fried. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah. Fried things are good. You ever had some of those breaded fried broccoli cheese balls? Oh my god, dude, they're so good. No, I don't really f with that stuff. Yeah, I'm lactose intolerant, to be honest. Yeah, I know. My stomach is acting up right earlier. Now. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> as we speak, because I think I might have accidentally got some cheese in my system. I'm not sure oh, how, no. but <laughs> I may have accidentally got some cheese in me. Yeah. Like I ordered, I, I ordered a burger from, from oh, P. God, Terry's. You like that? Order bur- a burger what? <laughs> I ordered a burger from P. Terry's, but I got the veggie one. So it may have been the veggie patty itself. There was no cheese on it, but I don't know, man. My stomach is like, well, I mean, the veggie still could have dairy in it. No, it's a, it's. The it's veggie. not a vegan burger. It's a veggie burger. They don't put. Who's putting milk in burgers? There could be like some cheese built into the burger, dude. There could be like some sour cream binder. That, or something. that would one thousand percent like just make it pointless to even call it a veggie. But you, that, you'd be lying to the consumer. No, you're not. It's I want a plant-based based. burger, and then you're just like, I'll just sneak some udder in there. <laughs> <laughs> sneak some udder, dude. It doesn't say vegan. It says veggie. 
but the the whole point is that dairy is veg. This is a this is a it's not a plant. But vegetarians eat I'm, milk, dude. I'm looking this shit up. Does veggie bur do veggie burgers contain milk? You not see? milk, dude. Dairy. There's only one dairy. What else is dairy besides milk? Cheese, sour cream, butter. All those things are dairy. And what do all of those things start out as? But <laughs> Get out of here, milkman. Here, I'm gonna call you the milkman. Do, ve do veggie burgers? I don't see how a veggie burger would have cheese in it. Like how it, unless Five. you like, it was a. Have you ever had the patties with the cheese in them? Oh, that's what I meant. Or like the hot dogs with the cheese in them? Yeah, dude, the hot dogs with cheese are on point. Except for hot dogs are garbage. Boom. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, we got it. We're do slow. veggie burgers have dairy? Depending on the veggie burger. Blah, 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 blah. There are actually quite a few veggie patties that contain animal products and are not vegan. Oh, oh boy. Eggs. Eggs would be the other one that I could think of would be. White. Wait, why would eggs be in a veggie burger, though? Egg whites. I can see. Oh, I can see that. Cheese, milk, and whey, or because that's a binder. No. Of egg. I would. Well, dude. Okay, having vegetarian a veggie burger that isn't completely vegetarian a is a lie. I believe it's that. Like, lie. I could see a veggie burger not being vegan, but how are you gonna have a veggie burger that has egg in it? That is because that is not. Yeah, dude. Look at that, Jonas. I gotta reevaluate out here in these streets. Now I'm pretty sure the one at Burger King. Oh yeah, well know, those are plant. I think they're 100. percent Those vegan. are yeah, because they're the uh, the company. Yeah, the, yeah, the company is whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't Meat, matter. Meatboys.com. No meatboys.com. No meatboys. No meatboys allowed. Meatlessboys.com. Meatlessboys. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> sounds so gross. Son of a bee, man. You gotta read the back of your burger, man. <laughs> you gotta, you they gotta, got all the, you, flip the bun over. That's where all the info. You have is. to. And I don't know what P. Terry's is putting in their stuff, man. You've been there before, though, haven't you? I've, I've eaten there once or twice. Don't they're, care for them? They're okay. Their burgers are pretty good. Their shakes, I hear, are on point. Did you get that shake, that Cinnamon Toast Crunch shake? I did not know. Dude, you thought about it. I did consider it because I do love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I take Cinnamon, Cr cinnamon Toast Crunch best cereal in the world. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. Oh, yeah. Well, and I hadn't eaten it until... Not long ago. Well, I'm going to double down by saying it again. God dang <laughs> it. Because that stuff is amazing. You didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> Best. Dude, I would kill for a big old bowl of cinnamon toast crunch with some vanilla almond milk. Ooh, some lovely white <laughs> nut, made nut from the juice. Milk. <laughs> big old glass big of old nut juice. <laughs> You're a favorite, dude. <laughs> nut love. juice. Give me a big cup of nut juice. Yeah, man. That would be great. I'm, I might have to make that happen. Some almond milk? With, oh, with cinnamon toast crunch? Well, yeah, with Is some nut vegan, juice. Dude? What's that? Is it vegan? Don't. I don't know, actually. <laughs> it might not. Probably has egg in it, dude. God dang it, Jonas! French toast has egg, cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, but it's just flavored, dude. Yeah, dude, it's just cinnamon flavored. They just take a bunch of chemicals and pour it on a, <laughs> a cardboard <laughs> square and <laughs> sprinkle it with sugar. And they're That's like, here really you go. And I'm like, news. delicious. It's like, how can we make this cardboard taste like food? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Lightly toast the cardboard, then sprinkle with sugar. Oh, boy, we are winners. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know, it, little... was a, it was a celebratory, Jesus celebratory. Christ, <laughs> man! <laughs> what, I felt the earth rumble over I here. Say, did it rumble? That it man? did, man. I felt it through the couch. <laughs> it was a chain. <laughs> I thought it was a tremor. A tremor, dude. It's an aftershock. <laughs> we won. Did we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, dude. All right, we're making the playoffs, the end of the season. So that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. If you don't still like and subscribe, if you do and have done that, send it to Grandma. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.